Hey guys, and welcome back to JP Pets. This is about the fifth take on this clip, so I hope it actually works this time. We're talking about how to plant aquarium plants. In this clip in particular, we're doing dwarf sage, but this can be for crips, val, any any plant. So, we got our pincettes here. You can use your fingers, but it's a lot harder and it usually takes like 10 times per plant in my experience. So, these are from Modern Aquarium. I'm not sponsored. They were like $9. I would just do it if I were you. If you have at least two tanks, do it. So, the crown of the plant is right here. Right above the roots and right below the green of the plant. So our goal is, is we get the tips of the tweezers just a little bit past that. So that when we push it down into the substrate, it's pushing against this metal part of the tweezers, not the crown of the plant and messing up the plant because plants are pretty fragile. So the goal is right here, oops, we push it down. Now the tricky part is, is getting the tweezers out without uprooting the plant. Now that one's about perfect, but sometimes these go down a little bit low and you need to go like this on one of the leaves. Just pinch one of the leaves very, very gently and pull up if the crown's too too far below the substrate. Because in certain plants like crypts, that can harm them. So, this is a basic demonstration. I'm out. Hey guys, and welcome back to JP Pets. Today, we're doing a little bit different type of video, different location, but we're doing a tutorial this time. In this clip, we're gonna be super gluing um, this piece of narrow leaf java fern. I know it's a tiny plant, it's kind of sad looking, getting all dirty from a work surface, to a rock. So it's, it's pretty easy. Now what you're going to want to start with is super glue. I think you guys can see this. This is Gorilla. You don't, it doesn't, the brand doesn't matter too much as long as the active ingredient is cyanoacrylate. And this is the gel. I highly recommend the gel. I've used the liquid probably more times than I have used gel. But it gets all over your fingers, all over your gloves, whatever you're using. And it looks horrible. Super glue does look bad in the aquarium. So if you can keep it more under control, it's really nice. It's white when it dries. So that's why it's so important. So what we're going to look for is somewhere where this rhizome, the rhizome, you can see there's like a horizontal stem. Hold this plant upside down. So the plant should go on vertical, and then there's a horizontal stem right here with roots coming off. This horizontal stem is where you want the super glue to go, not so much the roots you can kill the plant if you cover the rhizome too much in glue. So what we're looking to do is put a little bead along here and put it in that. So let's do that. It does take a little bit to get the super glue to the nozzle. And this is common stuff. You can get this anywhere. And the Java Fern is from Petco. Everybody has a Petco. You can go to modernaquarium.com. That's where I would recommend getting your Java Fern. I actually never got Java Fern from them, but I trust them. Also, Boost Plant and H2O plants. So, this does take up to a minute to cure. Um, if you spray this right here, it does kind of make it cure a little bit faster. And remember guys, especially with java fern, keep this stuff wet. I've had very bad luck with java fern drying out on me. Some people can have it growing out of their water with no issues. For me, the leaves die every time. I don't know if it's just me or what's going on here. So just support the plant as much as you need to. This shouldn't be something that has to take two seconds. This is, you know, it's going to take a second or two. So it's on there now, you can see. I didn't put much super glue on there. But you can see that's on there. So I'm gonna make sure to keep that nice and sprayed down. Now we have, this is also narrow leaf java fern. 
from Petco. We are going to tie this one down. Now, with tying it down, there's a couple different methods. So I have a piece of driftwood. You can tie down to a piece of rock if you have a big enough rock. You can also super glue to a piece of wood. It's not like you have to super glue to a rock and you have to tie down to wood. It's not like that at all. It's very flexible. You do what you need to do. I don't know how that green stuff got on here. So what you're going to do, again, is look for a place where you want the um, plant to stay. Now for me, this is for a tutorial. This is not going in the aquarium. This piece of wood is going to stay dry. And I'm just going to keep it for a rainy day, pretty much. The rock, I actually will put in the aquarium. So we're going to get our same kind of uh, plant. That looks like a good spot. It'll sit in that crevice nicely. So let's grab our fishing string. You can use cotton thread, like for quilting or for a sewing machine, that kind of thing. You can use thread. Um, it will disintegrate after time. I've heard it stinks in the aquarium. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie guys, I've never used cotton string, honestly. I use fishing line. This is actually a really expensive 20 pound test. It's called fire line. It's just what I have on hand. If you don't have any on hand, I'd recommend you get like four pound monofilament or something. It's gonna cost, you know, a couple bucks a roll. I wouldn't go out and get expensive, you know, braid or anything like that. So you see, we got that tied down. And what you want to do is you want to get these to the back. So you can see here, I hope if it's in frame. You're going to either tie this, which is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to show it in the tutorial because, like I said, I'm not using this piece of wood in the aquarium. So you can tie these strings right here, or you can super glue them. These strings right here. And also, guys, if you guys don't want to super glue, you don't want to um, tie down with fishing line if you don't have that or whatever, if this is in the aquarium and you find a crevice that this just sticks in, so say I can stick this right here and it just stays there, it doesn't need glue to stay there, that's great. Um, these will kind of attach themselves over time. That's why a lot of people like to do the cotton thread route. So you see like right here, it's kind of sort of staying there without glue. I'm trying to find a place here. You know? So it doesn't, it's really personal preference. If you find a spot that it looks good, then do one of these methods to keep it in there. This is JP Pets, guys. I'm out.